Hello, it's me, Arizu Gaming. Hello, Nia. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, it's Tuesday. More Oxygen Not Included is on the way. And yeah, I think after yesterday's stream, I've reached a conclusion that I'm probably just going to excavate the map and fill it with oxygen and just not do my normal box base because I don't think that's going to work with the map geometry, really. Or it's going to be more effort than it's worth. And I want to try doing things a little bit differently. So... Here we are in the game. Everyone's just woken up and gone. Hypothermia again. So we were going to put our axis shaft here, but there's way too many volcanoes in this area. And then there's the teleporter here. There's some geysers up here. Just not a very good route for us to put our axis shaft. And I still need to explore this area a bit more, but I'm kind of doubtful about that too. So <laughs> we, we got exosuits yesterday, but... I don't think there's really much of a point of needing them. It's not like anyone's going to get scolded down here. The oil biome is going to be cold too. So I think I'm just going to leave this here. And we're just going to let everyone wander around down here. We're going to make a load more oxygen. Um, obvious, there is some oxygen down here for them to breathe. So you can get some construction work done. Maybe we'll reactivate the atmosuits suits if the CO2 gets really bad down here. There's no more oxygen there. But I think I am just going to make a couple more algae terrarium rooms as well. And we're going to pump some more oxygen <laughs> into the base. So first things first, I don't think we need to insulate these anymore. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I guess I'll leave it like that for now. But this one here, I'm gonna open this one up. So we'll just do it like this one over here. Have I tried Satisfactory by the way? No, I haven't. The game does look interesting. Um, if my computer can run it well, I might give it a go. Um, Again, that's another game that's on my list of things to try out. The thing is, when I buy a game, I don't tend to want to stop playing it until I run out of things to do in it. I don't really tend to like to hop games very much. So, it's going to take a lot for me to buy like a new game that I'm going to invest a lot of a load of time into. But I, I'm, I'm still I'm going to worry about what other games to play on Fridays. But yeah, let's get this hooked up. We we'll need to put some more sieves in as well. Um, I think what I might actually do is I might I might just put some sieves up here. <laughs> you wish you had a habit like that. I guess it's a healthy habit to have. I just uh, yeah, it always annoys me when I spend money on a game and I don't end up playing it very much. So uh, in completely unrelated news, we are going to finish off Hyperbolica this Friday. That is the plan. Because I'm eager to see everything in that game before I forget about it. Yeah, okay, hook that up over there. Um, now one pump of wa one pipe of water is working on these three. Kind of looped up with some bridges. Um, I think I'm just going to have a completely separate pump for this. Where is that water even coming from? That's just coming from the sieves. The loose of water continues to come down here, continues to rain. Now, I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to dump... I'm going to start dumping polluted water up here. And I may start... Let me start pumping this as well, although this is a bit too cold in here. We need to dump a bit more loose of water in here before we start pumping that. So let us first melt this ice. I want to get this out of the way. Um, I'm just actually going to dig out this abyss light and then just do this. And grab all this material. And then I think what I'm going to do... So I'm just going to drag this down here. We're going to dig all that stuff out. Again, we'll do this according to our base levels. <laughs> Melting this is going to be very challenging because it's very uh, it's very cold up here. So I'm, I might just leave this ice for now. Eventually, we're going to want to get rid of it. Uh, so that can go here. 
And then what I'll do is I'll dig this out. And then we'll dig out that abyssalite and we'll just make a little channel down here. So that all of our melt water can run down here as well. We're going to want all these resources anyways. But yeah, we're going to get more algae terrariums up. We're going to keep generating more oxygen that way for a while. When we run out of algae, we'll build a spawn. But I, I want to put off building a spawn. I always build a spawn now. I'm having the exact opposite problem to what I used to have, where I, I tend to solve oxygen the same way in all my games now, just by building my little handy spawn. And I want to see how long I can go without building that. So yeah, you can come in here and build this. Let's bring this ladder up here. This is going to eventually go up here. Uh, dig this out. May as well have that. That will need to go here. And then... Yeah, there's some more ice over here as well. We'll probably find another way to mount that. Now, what I should do as well is I should actually get this hooked up. So I think what I'm going to do... We have ranches. We have ranches. So I think I'm going to... Build a shine... Uh, put some shine bugs in here and ranch them. Maybe. So I think what I want to do... I think first of all, I'm just going to dig out all of this stuff here. Yeah, I think I'm going to pause this. And we're going to focus on going up at the moment. If we're not going to exosuit everything, we, might, we may as well focus on digging up. Getting some more oxygen generated, and then we can just wander around a bit more freely. I think what I'm actually going to do is... I don't think it's possible. I wanted to get it so the excess blue water would flow this way. But yeah, I think we're just going to dump the blue water in here and we're going to pump it out. This is very cold. Some brine in here. That's interesting. You know what? Actually, I think I'm overthinking this. We're dumping blue water here. Uh, let's take this. I'm just going to put a sieve here for now. Actually, no, that's not a good idea. Maybe I'll just put a sieve down here for now. I'm being very indecisive at the moment. Don't mind me. Uh, lime. That is definitely something to take. That's a lot of lime. We have an exosuit training guy, but they have slow learning. Which is annoying. Nah, we'll take the lime. That's so much lime. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll put a pump in here. We'll pump the polluted water out of here. Sieve that. Could stick the sieve in here for now. I've got to admit, even though I know, <laughs> I know this isn't the best idea, but I'm having a lot of fun just actually trying to get these algae terrariums to output. This is kind of like a little mini game I'm having. Like, I wouldn't recommend that you do this normally. Like, it's useful in the beginning of the game to melt some ice, but once you get past that initial stage, you probably are just better off doing a spawn. But now I want to see how much I can push this. Oh, you're trapped. Uh, let's dig this. There's Devin. Ah, oh, Devin's there. Okay, you do need to dig this then. That's fine. 
Here you go. Good thing you can dig. It's like, yay, I've escaped. You guys still exoseating? No, we turned this off. So people aren't exoseating at the moment. That's fine. Um, the only thing I do want to do is I want to go see who our frozen friend is on the other asteroid. Although, maybe I'll go, maybe I can collect them and just bring them here. I don't think I really need to do anything on the other asteroid. Alright, let's speed up. It's funny, I thought long commutes would be absolutely horrendous at the moment. It doesn't tend to be. Look how much time I spent pondering. Seems like the uh, ponder time is higher than I thought. When we're speed 3-ing it. Because there wasn't that much lag, but I guess there was lag from figuring out what to do. It's not good. Nicholas, you can get... Uh, let's just take you to suits. I'm just going to start taking everyone to suits. I think. Because we're eventually going to want everyone to get in the suits. To be able to go and work on the various guys and rooms. But yeah, my I think my plan overall is we're going to just oxygenate as much of the map as possible. Because it's all going to be cold. And then when we want to access specific areas, we'll put in a couple of atmosphere docks and we'll do it that way. It looks like a banana. Nice. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do with their little yellow uh, bits. Very cute. So set this to 3,300 again. Maybe we'll try and get another three rooms working. I think I may want to consume more polluted water in here. Because we're going to have no problem polluting the water. We're going to have the problem actually, um... You know, uh... <laughs> getting it back to regular water. Now we'll leave this here. Maybe I'll reduce. Maybe I'll reduce this to one. We're starting to get a lot of um, starting to get a lot of build up here. If I reduce it to one, maybe I won't feel as much. We research marble blocks and the portrait. Okay, that's fine. So let's see, Civ. We can just have a few different civs here, maybe. So this one can go over here. And we're literally just going to take this output, which is presumably going to be from the algae terrariums. And we'll just send that over here. So I guess we'll build another ladder to reach all of this. Yep. And then power wise, I can go here. We're eventually going to get some ice melt, but that will just go into the terrariums, so that's not a problem. We don't mind any ice melt getting into our sieves. The terrariums. Hey, Oglivisk, how's it going? We, uh... <laughs> we're kind of committing to doing things a bit differently on this run now. Like, before I was kind of focused on just doing it like I do my normal runs, but now I kind of want to... I want to, tr I want to really see how far we can stretch the algae terrariums. So we're, we're going a little bit nuts on this. Okay. And then I'll start putting these in. Um, mostly because I can't find a good access shaft outside the base. I can't find a good vertical stretch without geysers in it. Or a big ladder. So I'm just going to have the main base ladder be the shaft. Because this can go all the way down. That one, I think, can actually go all the way down. 
if we do a shift here yeah there's room for this one too uh so yeah we're just gonna have both these shafts go all the way down eventually we're just gonna oxygenate the, a really large area maybe filter out some environmental gases but we'll probably just try and be a bit more careful about the environmental gases all the hydrogen's gonna end up over here anyways so I'm not too concerned about that but maybe what I'll do is we'll allow we'll allow Barney and we'll allow have to go through here and we'll let them we'll let them continue digging down because I want to see how far down it goes um that can all stay at priority one and then what we'll also do is we'll just dig up here to let all of this hydrogen out over the top and we'll just let it fill this area here You're exhausted. Good job. How is the oxygen looking over here? Uh, we're still okay. Uh, I guess we're occasionally getting some polluted oxygen here, but the pipe filter is working pretty well. So I'm not too concerned. We are getting some off gassing over here. That's fine. Uh, I should probably just put a little deodorizer over here. There you go. But yes, we're gonna get everyone in the primo garb. That is that is also a plan. I'm not getting any water. This isn't running. We need filtration medium. We have loads of sand. I guess people are just busy. We're no longer getting the full polluted water pipe through. Why is that? Seems like there might not be quite enough. It seems like these pumps might not be in quite right. Yeah, this system could definitely be improved. I'm not going to worry about it too much at the moment. I am going to open the window in here though, because it's getting very warm. I've been working in here all day, so I guess it makes sense. I think what actually happens is they get into a pattern where if they're both pumping polluted water at the same time, a lot of it gets bypassed out. Like if I shift it like that, now it's working properly again. But if these pumps get too in sync, then it's then it lets the polluted water out through this pipe. Yeah, this is a really bad system. <laughs> Don't build that. <laughs> Alright, this needs to be connected to a wire that can go here. Chlorine is raining down from over here. That's quite funny. Uh, why is there so much chlorine? I guess the pressure has just gone down a lot. Interesting. You're awesome. 
Oh my god, thank you for the bits. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. T-Rex, I appreciate it. And the bit emote worked. Uh, the bit the bit um, alert worked with the, the drip dupes. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is uh, definitely a run where we've just been messing around a bit. I have some runs on YouTube where we, um, we've definitely been a bit more focused. And we've made a bit faster progress. I mean, we are certainly alive, but I'm mostly just having fun with, with some toys I haven't used in a while. But uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. Right, so we got the pipe. We got the pump here. That's full of this. This needs to get loaded. Right, there you go. Have some water. So each of these runs five kilograms a second. So you could technically use. Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, it's too. It's way too cold. You know what? This area is... What I should do is I should run it past this to warm it up. That's what I should do. Uh, so... <laughs> let's, uh... Let's turn this off. This is gonna become a huge mess. I'm here for it. Right, uh, bring this down here. Because we want to, uh, make sure this isn't getting too hot anyways. And then I think what I'll do is bridge these. This map has just become an absolute clusterfuck of pipes and bridges. There you go. But you know what? Uh, do that for now. And then what I'll do is I'll just run this past here. That should be enough. Then we'll send it back over here. I'm definitely going to enjoy ripping this up eventually. There you go, perfectly sensible. Alright, who's idle? Devin is idle again. You, you have been trapped by some sand. There you go. Pipe Skelly is my favorite type of pasta. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're having the pasta Thanks psychosis the today. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, uh, me4872. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Well, at least the hatch situation is going well. We've got five little baby hatchlings over here. Uh, we got a Shine Nymph that's trapped in here as well. I don't know why we have Shine Nymphs in here, but let's get him out of the dropper. Yeah, this should heat up the polluted water a bit. And then we'll keep dumping the 30 degrees polluted water from these in here, and that should eventually melt all of this. I <laughs> didn't realize we weren't following. Fair enough. That is the best way to know when I'm, uh, on Twitch. Oh my god. It's chill music time. Alrighty. Uh, let us... Let us turn the music off. And I will play... I'll play my plays for a little bit. I'll play the, uh, the music that normally plays in the intros and outros. And I don't know how long I'll play it for. I'll see, I'll see how long I want it on for. But, uh, yes. We'll do that for a little bit. <laughs> Yes, I need to actually go and update this playlist because I think there's some new music that I want to add to it. I get all this music from Chill Hop, which is a pretty good website. A lot of people upload music there, um, royalty free. So you just cite Chill Hop in your stream, uh, in your like VODs and on your Twitch page. And then you can just use their music and you can use it as much as you want. And there's a lot of good music on there. I've, I've noticed a few different people who play this game as well have this music. So, 
Yeah. Represents a lot. How's the coal situation going? We are occasionally getting coal out of this. We'll get more and more. You guys will continue to eat. Wow, we caught a very special moment then. Nice. This is filling up with hatches. We actually have a stone hatch in here already. It's nice. We are eventually going to replace these all with stone hatches, but I can wait for a little bit. Um, I'm not sure why we have five shine bugs in this area. Six shine bugs? Oh, wait. I think I know. These guys eat the bristle blossoms, don't the bristle berries, don't they? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. I feel like we didn't trap a load of them in here. And look, there's a load of them down here too. They're definitely multiplying because they're eating the bristle blossoms. Like, we never had this many shine bugs. How bizarre. Um, now that we're actively cooling this water, I'm going to reactivate these. And hopefully these will behave now. There you go. Yeah, it looks like you can go in here and put all this pipe down. I guess it's going to take a little while. Uh, you know what? Let's put some ladder over here so we can access this tank a bit more easily. You can remove this. Because we're going to keep filling up this tank with hot water for a while. It's definitely going to be a thing. Uh, okay. We actually have a bit of a problem. Because the chlorine is liquefying, it's occasionally taking the uh, sterile atmosphere off these. So they are starting to uh, turn. How do we solve that? I think I need to put a roof on this as well. I need to stop it interacting with the ice. I mean, I guess eventually this problem will solve itself, but this ice is very cold. I don't know, maybe we'll be alright. I'm going to leave it for a little bit. If we get the food has rotted alert, that, that's when we, we know we'll need to change it. You know, very uh, reactive decision making there. So the moment you're manually delivering the water, which is not ideal, I guess we are getting the water out of here. It's fine. Yeah, you can keep building this too. I think I need to put a ladder here. And then let's just seal this off. Uh, we'll need to ladder down here. Oh, man. Yeah. So, I noticed something interesting as well. Um, YouTube, uh, they've lowered the uh, requirements for actually making or starting your uh, partner program on YouTube. You used to require a thousand subscribers and I think 4,000 public watch hours to, to make partner on YouTube, but they've changed it now. So now it's 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours and you get some of the perks and you get all of them at the previous threshold so it's pretty cool we're actually almost there we've got about fifteen thousand watch hours of youtube so we've done pretty well on the watch hours front you guys all do seem to be enjoying the vods um i'm pretty sure i have more vo uh, watch hours by a long way on youtube than on twitch now which is kind of weird to think about what we got um, yeah. I don't think I'm taking any more of these guys. We are including more oxygen. Hopefully the base pressure is going to keep increasing now. We are skimming at this level, so I would expect the CO2 to stop there. Let us actually just dig all of this up. Let the gas flow. Reachable food. Uh, you've done it again. You've sealed yourself in. However, I'm pretty sure you can get yourself out of this situation. So let's see you, uh, let's see you do that. Because ultimately I'm planning on filling this room with polluted water anyways. Seek fluid intake. Thank you very much, Oblivious.
I actually prepared. I got some squash. Right, you're not doing anything. Um, do, you know what, you're going to go on your own schedule at the moment. <laughs> I'm sure this will cause zero issues. Here you go. Work, work, work. I guess we'll remember to work at the beginning of the next schedule block. Honk. Uh, let's party nine all of this. Party nine the dig as well, just to get over here. Get more people working on that. You kind of want a natural uh, hundred flatulent dupe colony that runs on that cat. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, the classic fl flip farters or the classic farters approach instead of the flip farters approach. That'd be pretty interesting. I'm definitely not going to do it again. You're not actually. Oh, you can't reach the. Oh, I see what the issue is. Yeah, ignore this schedule. Delete schedule. Um, you just don't have any sandstone in here. Uh, you. Yes, you do. Oh, you can't dig the. You can't dig the abyss light. You know what? I think you can dig one tile of ice. Air quality would be so hard. You just have to. With that many dupes, you just have to have like a couple of pumps running. Once you have enough power, you can just run a load of pumps. Now you're having a rest. Nice. Building broken. Yeah, the pipe broke. We, we knew about that. Um, you need to get up here now to do this pipe. Ah, oh, that's annoying. You know what, just temporarily, just... Oh no, that won't even work. You know what, deconstruct this. Build the pipe. And reposition the sieve. You can get out of here, I believe in you. You have, you have some oxygen. Yep, there you go. Well, you're making a mess, but the mess is not going to be particularly messy. So as long as you don't get overly stressed, I don't care. <laughs> I'm sure you'll meet in the middle. Keep popping back down for air. Right, so yeah. I guess we got we got some ice has turned into a tile here, that's pretty interesting. Uh just build the pipe then and then remove the ice. This seems like the perfect song for uh, rescuing us of being deep. Oh, look, hold on. Yeah, remove that. Like this. Okay. They got balloons. We got the Draco Squad. How's Primo Garb going? We've got six units of Primo Garb now. Start equipping this once uh, Sandra's out of here. Oh, you've got hypothermia. That's fine. You can still dig with hypothermia. Yeah, I'll tell you what, RimWorld is definitely quite high on my list of games to play on screen. Um, I bought the base game and one of the DLCs a while ago and I've hardly played it. Um, it's really fun and I intentionally stopped playing it off stream because I knew it was just going to suck me in completely. I did about 100 hours on the base game um, and as far as I could tell that game never goes on sale. So there's no need for me to actually time when I'm going to buy the DLCs. So I might just buy them and start doing that on Fridays, but it, de it depends. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, definitely don't dump any polluted water in here. I don't think you are. Looks like some chlorine is leaking out of here. We do need to increase the oxygen pressure. There's more down here. I think I need to put some deodorizers down here. Let's do that. So, mesh tiles here. Deconstruct this. There you go. So we're going to have a lot of polluted water there for a while. I'm going to remove this and we're going to seal this up. So eventually we're going to do something over here as well. In fact, what I'm probably going to do is I'm just eventually going to move this up 
We gotta seal it off. Maybe we'll connect it all together, I don't know. Right, um... Yeah, let's put a load more of these in here. Keep melting this. I'm just gonna do that, that's fine. Uh, right, you finished that, so now let us put the sieve back. There we go. Right, let's start equipping some Primo Garb. <laughs> there you go. Pa Pablo is down here. They are already wearing the Primo Garb, so we're going to do it alphabetically, I guess. So, Amari, come on over. You know, very important tasks going on at the moment. Um, Ashcan, you can have one too. <laughs> this is definitely the uh, snazzy session. There you go. And you all get blue suits because it's friggin' cold. Enjoy it. Devon, you can get one too. There you go. You're on your way. Come on. There you go. <laughs> no, you're too cold. <laughs> what are you up to at the moment? We're gonna go eat. That's fine. I'll tell you what, this music makes this base feel a lot more in control than it actually is. So, <laughs> there you go. Right, so we need. To... Oh, you didn't actually build the pipe. Are you kidding me? Oh, right, because the ice melted. Oh, that's annoying. No, I'm gonna yell at this. Screw it. Let's do this before I forget about it again, please. See, I thought that they removed the, I thought they dug the ice tile after they did this, but I guess the ice just melted. They didn't build it. Please just finish it off. Got three critters, critters in here. I wonder how long it's going to take for the, all of these to fill. Uh, I need to hook these up as well. Here you go. Ooh, just a mad amount of shine bugs. I don't think I even need these lights to be on, really. There's just so many shine bugs in here. We've ended up with just accidentally pretty much oh oh i see what's happened oh because what is actually happening right is this is a hatch ranch but what has happened is the shine bugs have been flying in through here and getting groomed <laughs> so they've been getting groomed accidentally and we've ended up with a load of shine bugs in here um, and they've been kind of filling up the ranches. <laughs> you know, I did not actually consider this to be a thing. Um, it's fine. We'll just let them hang out for now. I guess what we could do is we can also wrangle them and stick them over here with this thing. And just have them feed them stuff. We can feed them Brussels Blossoms. It seems like it would make sense. Okay, now you can remove this. So we'll do that today as well. We'll move the shine bugs over here and we'll get this geyser working because we we'll want more oxygen from that too. We're just gonna we're just gonna do low low uh, early game tech stuff for ages. Just have one minute. Yes, yeah, so this can go here. Okay. 
A liquid output on the bridge? Yes, I need to actually connect this over here. There you go. And remove this pipe. Devin, did you come and collect your suit? You did. Good job. Suits continue to multiply. And Civ goes here. So, yeah, um, we have the Paku as well. It would probably be a really good idea to actually get a load of gulp fry. Look how many Paku we've ended up with. Quite a large amount. I guess a lot of these Paku are elderly and are going to die soon. But, um, yeah, getting some gulp fry and having them actually refine the polluted water for us would be pretty good. Is it worth the effort? That's the question. I do end up over here. Uh oh. Oh, I need to seal this off. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I may have forgot to do this. Because I can just jump in here and jump out here. I guess we're jumping out of here because of the sand. But this should still be sealed off. No power wire connected. Oh, I built this the wrong way, didn't I? I'm not having a lot of luck with this, am I? Here you go. I'm going to turn the normal music back on after this. Here you go. Pay attention, left. There you go. And then we can start dumping polluted water in here as well. Start melting all of this ice too. Yeah, let's see what happens with this. Yeah, so this polluted water is warm enough. Whether it'll stay warm enough continuously running is another question. There we go. Yeah, heat situation seems pretty good. Uh, I want to set up another farm as well. Unsure where to put that. You know what, let's just put it here. I think it makes sense. Remove this. Uh, then we can help generate some heat to melt this. You can squeeze through that gap, that's fine. Then do something like this. I basically just want to start almost overproducing oxygen. So we can just flood the map. And then we can start printing more dupes again. So I think what I'm going to do instead of using this as the mess halls where the food is going to be i think i'm going to have this be bedrooms because each private bedroom will be a, a five by four will that work no it has to be a bit bigger it has to be a seven it has to be a six by four we're going to get seven by four but each of these floors is three so one two three four five six seven eight 
9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we'll definitely have enough room to put 40 bedrooms here. So I think we'll put all the comfy bedrooms over here. I'm going to keep playing the music a bit longer because I like this song. So yeah, let's build the next one here. Okay, we'll stick this, stick the lights there. This can go here. Because we're melting all the ice over here, anyways, we might as well just put the algae trones here and make life a bit easier. Um, let's put another sieve over here. Stick it far away from the other one so that the piping is less of a hassle. Water is still a bit too warm. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, good accidental ranching going on here. It's fine. Yeah, maybe we'll put the Scheinberg Ranch over here. We'll have this be the permanent radiation source instead of the manual rad bolts. Still got insufficient oxygen generation. Yeah, because that's the thing. Our dupes were kind of like half suffocating for a while, so their consumption was low, but now we're increasing production again. They're breathing more. Uh, and then you can just dig... If you dig this and put a ladder here, and you can still get up here and dig the rest of this. So I think, to be honest, it's uh, probably fun. That'll do. Uh, we need to sweep up the brine. We got another hatch. Let's grab them. I feel like I haven't actually gotten around to playing half of these songs yet. So thank you for redeeming that. I'm enjoying this thing. These require emptying. Let's probably nine these. The bane of algae terrariums is that they need constant emptying. So the more of these you put in, the more dupe labor is tied up with them. Uh, let's see. So that pipe, we can have another sieve here. So let us just bring this pipe down here as well. And then this water can just come out here. I'm just going to set it up here. Then that can be dripped in here. Set this to 3,300. Maybe I should try... The thing is, if it were for the fact that the algae is eventually going to run out, it would be very tempting to try and make this a no-spawn challenge. I guess what we would have to do is we would have to actually go into space and start drill coning an organic mass field to do that. Sounds like a pain. Okay, uh, you know what? Just come over here. It's fine. Uh, you do still need to build this tile. Well, you don't actually. Oh, you, you built it anyways. Okay, that's fine. It's just aesthetic. I'm just being silly. Oh, have we actually found some slime? We have. Okay. Uh, where's that going to go then? That polluted water is going to be warm as well. So I might as well actually... Uh, now that we're not dumping it in here, I may as well just dump it in here. Here you go. Yeah, and for now, just remove this, because we're not going to melt this anytime soon. Mm. 
then sweep this up. Yeah, so polluted water has gone back down here. I guess we'll let one of them run. New principles, what we got? Uh, I'll take the rice seeds. We have more suits. Let's continue handing out suits. Gordon gets a suit. You're currently up to stuff that's more important. You are. You're grabbing balloons. Oh yeah. Oh, dark side has built up over here a little bit. Let's dig this stuff up. So this needs a wire. Let's plug that in here. So that was the other reason we were going to go to the oil buyer was to grab a load of lead. I think you are trying to do this still. Here's the oil biome. Okay. So as expected, this is very cold, which means we can start digging it right away. Um, there's a load of really cold ice up here as well. It's fine. Um, there's no actual abyssalite here. But I guess what I'll do, because we're going to want all the fossil as well, is we're just going to come in here and I guess we'll just start digging down here. Don't expect you to do stuff over here for a while, but yeah, grabbing lead the conductive wires will be nice. We are refining metal. The only thing is we... Um, don't have a lot of brine over here at the moment. This has stopped erupting. That's what we were using for the coolant. Um, I think we've got enough metal. Uh, let us give Liam a suit. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't seem overly happy about it. Uh, Lindsay, you can have one too. So this is dumping water in here. Um, this is all freezing, which is not ideal. Uh, but if we stick the algae terrariums in here, this should heat up soon enough. The ice will eventually melt. Oh, yeah, perhaps that's why we wanted it to be insulated. You know, that actually does make sense. <laughs> Let's actually insulate this then. Yeah, because that water is actually starting to freeze in the pipe, even at this flow rate. In fact, let's make sure that's priority nine. Yeah, you're doing that. Um, we can make this priority nine as well. Uh, I'm just going to remove this, and then we should be able to reach this. Yeah, insulate that and then these will generate heat and then it will sort of I think it's an upload five music. So let's go back to the game music. Oh. <laughs> the game has forgotten to play music. We'll play the we'll play the lo-fi music until the game remembers that music exists. The reason for insulating it is because we already heated up these areas of the base.
If this pipe is constantly running, we could actually run another sieve and run another room. Oh, I've got a load of ice here as well. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to extend this down here. And I'm going to dig this out. And we'll open this up once this is filled up a bit too early. Just set these to one for now. Start melting that stuff in a bit. So now we have 55 algae terrariums on the go. So that's enough oxygen for 22 dupes. So we should start overproducing now. And the base pressure should get better. I think I'm literally just going to put another one here. This area is pretty cold. This area is pretty cold and we're insulating it anyways. So we may as well just do this. And that will be the last one. And I'll put another sieve. Uh, let's see. I'll just put another sieve here. I'm really going ham on these. Either. Set this to 3,300. So then this will hook up here. And then that will just be even more polluted water. So what we'll do is we'll just send it uh, this way. Game music has returned. Yeah, so that's going to be loads of oxygen. And we're going to chew through this algae at an absolutely magnificent rate, so we'll keep digging up more of it. There are some big deposits. There's a load of stuff down here. We're turning all the slime into algae too. So we'll keep finding a good amount. Let's actually just dig this all out as well. I think if I do this, you just dig this all out here. And that should be fine. Who's idle? Have. Have. No. Uh. Yeah, I'll alert this and then you can get out. You'll be fine. But yeah, once this is done, we'll get this hooked up as well, and we'll, we'll move the shine bugs because we don't want them in here forever. Now, which one of you buggers is going to do this? I bet you're going to do it the wrong way. Circuit overloaded. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to cut these off for now because we've got the shine bugs in here. It's good enough lighting for now. And we're not actually moving anything anywhere at the moment either. Well, no, not really. Oops. 
You are free. Congratulations. You can do that too. This pipe is filled up. We just need to connect the sieve up to something. It does occur to me that running so many sieves is going to draw on the power a lot. I'm beginning to think we're going to need three different power grids. Get up another coal station somewhere. I think it makes sense to put one here. Let's do that. And then we'll reconfigure the we'll reconfigure the coal line to go this way too. There you go. There's some algae we can dig here too. There you go. Actually, you know what? Just just uh You can just grind out what that's fine. So let's see, auto sweeper. I can go here. Conveyor receptacle can go there. This conveyor rail let's go over here. And then I can split some of these wires off in a certain way. We have another shine bug. I'm beginning to see what the issue is. We have like loads of shine nymph eggs here. <laughs> They're blocking this room. <laughs> They're blocking this room and confusing the automation. So I think what I need to do is I need to, I think I'm just for now going to turn shine nymph eggs off all of these. We definitely don't need this many shine bugs. Oh, these guys are overcrowded and glum, so they're not producing any light. That's amazing. Let's put these back in. We're going to move this all over to a different grid anyway, so it should stop the overloading. Yeah, this is warmed up now, that's good. Wires broken, sad. Uh, more skills. Let's continue getting people towards suits. There you go. So we're dumping the water in here. Let us... Plug this in down here. And then we can get more algae to run. You know, I think it would be a really cool system. Maybe if we uh, do it, maybe if we do end up branching the shine bugs over here for this. We just start, we just have a system that automatically dumps shine bugs in these rooms occasionally. <laughs> Obviously not these ones, because these are going to be full of hatches. But, uh, maybe the other ones. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, looks like we need information Y here as well. There you go. Turn that off for now. Here's our royal bug. I don't know how we ended up with this one. And you're gonna lay a coral limp egg? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, they've probably eaten some gristleberry that's been dropped in this room or something. That's probably what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that now that we've uh, now that the hatches are growing up, they're all getting dumped in here. We need to keep murdering these guys. Though. Yeah, there we go. The oxygen shall flow. Yeah, why is overloading? You do need to do this. Don't think you have anything more important queued up at the moment. Oh, you can't build stuff out of copper. That's the issue. I don't know why I keep telling you to build stuff out of copper. There you go. Disable this as well. This should sort out the overloading issue a little bit. Set this to 10, set this to 19. Re-enable these. Yeah, we have two broken wires now, so we need to actually repair these wires. Uh, and then in terms of what's actually on this grid, I think it probably makes sense to separate... Separate it like this? I did actually leave a few redundant connections in specifically for this. Yeah, that should help. Oh no, it won't because we can because that's got uh that's got these ones on it. Hmm. Uh, let's see. That wire can go there. That can disconnect. This can disconnect. Then this can connect. Think that makes sense. Pip! Definitely take the pip. You're a really good researcher, though. But we're gonna take the pip because we don't have pips. Now we have pips. Maybe we'll get a Draco someday. This will require emptying. Yeah, I'll set these all to priority 9. Yeah, these are set to dump polluted water as well, so you should just grab it from here and dump it in this room. That should be fine. Yeah, go ahead and keep melting all of this stuff.
So we have 20 tons of Phosphorite. We don't have any Drekos at the moment. We can feed the Phosphorite to the uh, Royal Bug. Maybe we just take the Royal Bug and we try and ranch it over here. But yeah, I'm going to speed through it. Let's make sure that wire gets built. Hurry up, sleeping. We're getting, a, we're getting a good few people in the blue in the blue shirts. May, you can go there. Grab Uno suit. Nicholas, so can you. <laughs> then Pab, you can have one as well. Right, and now we need this to go here, this to go here. See how that looks. There's still a lot of stuff on this line. I could probably take this over here. That would help. Look, we're getting ice melting. It's happening. Temperature flux is real. May as well dig all of this. Attack that guy. Funny how we just end up with this kind of carbon dead zone over here. I mean, obviously we've got a load of coal plants. Really struggling to just get through. We're actually getting pretty close to having all these suits done. That's nice. You're still working on it. You're playing Noita while watching my stream and you only have one HP, you don't know what to do. Cry. <laughs> um, don't set yourself on fire. That that's not very good. But one thing about being at low health is you don't take point you don't take uh, toxic sludge damage at low health. Toxic sludge will only ever bring you to like six percent of your max HP. Something like that. So you could swim in Toxic Sludge without any issues, at the moment. You just have the issue of lacking health instead. But don't try that with regular poison, because regular poison will still kill you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, like, I like these guys, they seem to be making the best of a, a somewhat odd situation on this asteroid. Uh, Ruby, you can have that one. You died of fire a lot, luckily you got a backup save. Yeah, I, I I take backup saves occasionally. I only take backup saves if it's like a run where I'm doing something I really wouldn't normally get to on a normal run. Like if I got tinker with ones everywhere at the start and I had some kind of really insane build. Otherwise I tend to just not. So, oxygen should be multiple. So let us actually go and hook this up too. So considering that we're not going to have the access shaft here, I think what I'm going to do is we'll do the tricked we'll do the tricked deodorizers trick to make sure that the gas will get filtered out of here. We can we can pump this to start, I guess. This is quite cold over here, but it's not too cold. So what I could actually do is I could actually just stick I could actually just stick some tiles here. And then dig this out. 
that will form a liquid barrier, and then we can vent all this gas, and then we can then we can set it up. Uh, pressure is way too high over here for this. Uh, that does make sense considering uh, how much oxygen is now being generated over here. Dump it down here. It should be okay. Yeah, get that out of there. A bug just ended you? Do you mean a bug in the game or a bug or like an insect? Because I've had both end me. Those fire bugs in the coal pits can really get you when you haven't got a rigor build. But I have definitely died to bugs. There was one run I was doing where I was really powerful. The game crashed while I was moving between parallel worlds through the cursed rock. And the game reloaded all the cursed rock on top of me. Uh, and that immediately killed me. <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, attack that guy as well. Yeah, the hatches are really multiplying now. I am pleased. Which means we do need to move these shine bugs out of here. Um, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to put the crater drop-offs back in here just so we can auto-wrangle these shine bugs. I think that's sensible, because then we can just move them up here. Right, let's speed up again. You can dig that out here as well. What are you guys up to at the moment? You're having dinner. You are having dinner. Ooh. But yeah, if we're gonna actually have our bedrooms down here, which I think we are, we can start laying this out as well. I'm gonna put this up priority one. We do need plastic for this as well. We do not currently have. So let's actually put these walls here. And I'm going to go for the puff theme beds again because we've got the puffed atmo suits. I'll do for now. We'll do something else with this chlorine. Hiccups. I could actually have the base go over a little further. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, we have enough room for 36 dupes in this bit here, bed wise. The sounds are so good. Oh, I know. That's amazing. Very good. All right, let's take this out. It's definitely possible that we could just have more living quarters over here. Like maybe make maybe we actually make this the, the proper living space for the dupes. And this is the ranch shaft. We have the main shaft going all the way down here. And then we have exosuit docks down here as needed. I like I like that. We'll see how that goes. 
Yeah, we're getting some proper melting going on now. That's good. All of this will go back into the algae terrariums. So eventually this should just clear up. So we have our liquid lock here. This vent is now overpressured immediately. That's hilarious. Um, we're really going to struggle to actually vent this. We could try tricking a vent. Yeah, now the gas pressure is increasing by so much. I think I'm going to struggle. We'll put one down here. Be okay. Yeah, I want all the other gases out of here before we start doing stuff in here. But the plan will be to have this be a tricked, tricked geyser. So what we'll do is we'll have airflow tiles here. Mesh tiles here, fill these with liquid, put the deodorizers on top. Uh, this is going to produce about, this is going to produce 250 grams per second at max flow rate. These consume 90 grams per second, so four should be, short, uh, four should be definitely enough to handle this geyser. Um, three is probably enough, so what I might actually do is I might just bottle emptier here and fill this with a liquid of some kind and then this is going to be hot I don't want to waste the heat maybe we do insulate this we'll put a storage bin here and grab all of this stuff so we're probably not going to come back in here once this is vented among us um and then we'll just think about what the room is actually going to look like oh this is actually venting now well okay then then what we'll have is we'll keep this insulated that actually lines up with our base level so that's pretty nice um, we'll have the gas pump here for the clean oxygen this room should always be clean oxygen because because the, the gas is blocked by a liquid layer here and these are effectively taking the gas from this tile and moving it up here there should never be any non-oxygen up here, so this should be pure oxygen. And then we'll just stick a atmosphere sensor in here. That can go like this. And then we can just make this an actual shine bug ranch. And we'll use the shine bugs to make sure. Maybe we'll just drop off a load of shine bugs. I'm just trying to think about how we're actually going to do this. Because we definitely want the shine bugs to be in here so that the gas is being removed immediately. Or so that the germs are being removed immediately from the gas. Because we don't want the slime bug germs. You know what, I don't think you need to do the rest of this. I think this should be fine. Uh, cancel. You're already building it anyways, whatever, just keep building it. So this is where the gas comes out of. I think what I'm going to do eventually is I'm going to replace this with a lamp. And the purpose of the lamp will be to attract the shine bugs. So the shine bugs will hover around this area. And then we'll have the actual ranch, ranch station be down here. We'll need this to be up there. So you know what, I'm going to move this one over. 
we're going to stick a ladder here because we're definitely going to want a ladder there. Yeah, good to see the melting going well. Uh, sweep up all of this. Good little boy. Yeah, good to see this is all working and we're getting loads of oxygen. So now pressure is very high. That's good. Chlorine is starting to behave again. That's also good. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll dig this. And then I just need to think about what the room size is going to be like. So this is going to be... Let's see, where am I going to want this to end? So this is where... This is where the base column is going to be. I don't dig this. Ideally, what I'd like to do is door this up here. And then there's 54 tiles, actually. So that'd be 63 tiles. That would be another 14, so that'd be 77 tiles. But not quite enough. Perhaps what I do is I put a little a little two tile liquid lock here as well. This is going to stay warm because of the geyser. So we could use brine and water for this. And then we could have this room count for the ranch as well. And that might give us that might get us to the tile count we want of the max number of uh, shine bugs in here. Yeah, I think we do that. Because we wanna we wanna be able to access this in an emergency, don't we? Except I don't want the people to actually get through here. Maybe we make this a one tile blob and we put liquid here. I won't freeze. Um, right. Wow, look at this guy. So this guy is going to be a plus 15 decorator, but they can't dig. But they can build. That seems really good. Like, we're not going to find a better decorator than this ever, I don't think. I'm very tempted to just take them. Yeah, I think we do. We're going to be doing a lot of decorating. Let's take Nicola. Uh, so we'll need to make one more snazzy suit and one more hero garb. Wow, we actually finished all of this. Neat. Uh, so you can definitely prioritize decorating. It seems now that there's a few more reasons to actually have decorating dupes in the game. You can finish off researching between a few of the different buildings and quests there are more reasons to have artists uh, let's see so Nicola you can have a suit uh, we will need to build you another bed um, for now I'm just going to stick you here we'll make this a bedroom just for the moment Prioritize these. These need to be prioritized as well. Yeah, we're getting a gas out here pretty quickly. Uh, we're going to want to dig this area as well. There is bleach stone in here, so I need to... I need to think about that before queuing up digs over bleach stone.
I imagine what I'll do is I'll just cover this in salt water. And then just dig up the bleach stone. Seems reasonable to me. You can get up here, so if we just dig this. We can use that to get some liquid in this tile at the same time. Um, this can be... Sweep only. Or... And then sweep all of this stuff. There we go. So, other news. I'm going to try and start and end the streams a little bit earlier again. I'm going to try and move it back to uh, to 7 till 10. Because um, I've been getting up earlier and earlier recently, and I need more sleep. <laughs> and partner needs more sleep, so... I'm going to try and get it to work uh, starting Thursday. This is going to depend on me actually um, making sure that dinner is ready by, by about half six. So I don't know. Probably do more cooking, which would be nice. Right, let's dig out the non bleach stone. Keep that as a tile wall for now so we can keep this liquid here oh oh i'm a fool yeah we just opened this up and all the gas is flooded back in great good idea <laughs> good job matt um loads of hydrogen cut this off Well, if we just dig all of this out, then we should end up with some liquid. Uh, you do need to... <laughs> you, I guess, just need to deconstruct this and put it here. Most organized construction project. Yep, hypothermia, that's nice, good job. Oops. It seems like, I'm, it seems like my middle mouse button is working again. It's good. Yeah, make the insulated as well. I want this whole bit to be quite hot. In terms of temperature tolerance, shine bugs... Shine bugs die at 50 C. So we're going to need a little bit of cooling in here. This comes out at 60 C. Maybe we'll just leave a little gap in here for now. And maybe we'll just leave this exposed. Although this is already covered in this light. Maybe we'll just leave this wall exposed for now. Because I don't mind the, the, the heat dissipating out towards the base. But I want it to dissipate out away from the base. Matches. Grab them. Everyone's looking so good in their blue suits. I love it. Keep giving people more suits. Sandra, you can grab one. You've actually got oxygen down here now as well. Happy suit wearers. 
Nicola, you, I told you to get one, but you didn't get one. I'll tell you what, it'll be a bit weird looking at the traffic overlay for this, seeing what ends up happening. Yeah, we'll have to make, um, once we get to oil, we'll have to make some plastic and then we'll start giving everyone the comfy beds. I want to give people the comfy beds again. It looks like we've got space here between these geysers that we might as well use for comfy beds. What's up, Ugly Bisque? What's going on? We have a lot of shine bugs in here. <laughs> By accident. Poke shell is uh, overseeing the works. Yes, good job, lads. Time to eat more dirt. So yeah, I think we'll just dump some brine in here. I like using brine in here a lot just because it doesn't freeze as easily and it doesn't off gas. Once we've grabbed all of this stuff, we'll just seal this up one level. We'll put a tile here and we'll let some salt water flow into this room. And then that can count towards our tile count. Wide is this? It's 12 wide. You're actually reaching here, you can reach in here. I believe in you. you do it. Set this to green signal if above 500. I think. No, above 1000. I think that's what we want. Uh, looks like we've already got some bleach stone going off in here. I did not notice that. Uh, well, we are putting all the bleach stone over here, so that should stay over there. Uh, let's make sure we're not storing bleach stone in here. That would not be very cash money. Who's idle? Ooh, you're really, uh, you're really trapped, aren't you? You can strap this. There you go. You fool! You foolish fool. Yeah, there you go. You gonna do the same thing? No, I don't think you are, Ashcan. Right, uh, let us grab all of that. Um, I do want you to build that tile, so please build a ladder here. I bet this is gonna go dormant right as this is finished. It's usually how this works. I haven't seen anyone else go idle yet, so I'm going to assume that you still got tasks to do. How has this stuff been going? Yeah, you've gotten a little bit further down. Took a lot of fossil, not a lot of lead. A lot of lead over here. Obviously, we can <laughs> dismantle the puzzle as well, and that will help. Looks like all the magma has uh, frozen over here.
So you know what, while we're here, we want to make more room for the hydrogen anyways. So dig this. Dig this. Imagine pixel art in this game. I'll tell you what. Um, there's a streamer I used to watch on Twitch who has since moved on to um, Kick, who would, for channel points, make people's names out of pixels in Oni, and they did pixel art. That was pretty cool. Yeah, speed pretty cool. This is very cool. So I think we're just going to dig in here and we're going to dig up the ice. We're going to get in here. What we got? Yeah, keep heading towards suit sustainability. Got another exosuit dock here. Or exosuit dupe here. So Sandra is now allowed out. Ashcan, you can continue with suits. Sandra, you can leave. Right, so... Yeah, build that ladder. Who's grabbing this stuff? I don't think anyone is. You know what, it's just Brenda. I don't care. Let's just leave that. Leave that, and then build a tile here. Build just some regular tiles here. For now. And then we'll open this up and let the brine down here. We don't want too much brine down here, just enough so that uh, we can extract the stone. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should just dig it up. Maybe we should just dig it up. This whole area is exposed to gases now anyways. Why are we even bothering with this? Oh, because we want to pour the liquid over here. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Um, I guess it's actually the prime purpose of this now, so yeah, just dig that up. Grab the bleach stone. Seal yourself in the room with the geyser. That's absolutely what I want you to do. Well, at least you have plenty of oxygen. You want much else. Oh, I need to actually dig this out as well. Uh, let us... Pour some brine in here. Stop doing this. That's already one. And then we're going to want to actually open this up while it's idle. And then we're going to want to fill it in. There. Let's don't fill it then. I know this is off topic, but in Noita, is mushroom cloud good? What do you mean mushroom cloud? I don't know what you mean. Right, so we want some liquid in here. We have liquid in here. That's enough brine. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll set that to priority nine. We'll fill it with a little bit more brine. Just make sure it doesn't freeze. Um, let's dig this up and then build this as a yellow alert. And then pour the water in as a yellow alert. Oh. It's about to erupt, isn't it? Uh, can we do this in time? I think we can, if we're very careful. Let's save it. Let's see how this goes. Oh. <laughs> no! No, that is definitely not the right time. Um, well... Maybe it'll be cold enough in here to kill off the first lot of germs. Because uh, we are going to get slime lung germs from this. They should die off below 20 grams. Uh, so you need to build this immediately. Who's doing that? May. It's not good. No, this is not a good plan. Um, you need to seal this. This is going to be way too much liquid. It's gonna overpressurize the 
Yeah. Why did I think this was a good idea? Why? Roll back. Perhaps it's possible. Yes, the brine is turning into salt water. We're getting some interesting behavior going on. May has come with the goods. Perhaps a little bit too late. I mean, no one got slime lung. It must be said no one got slime lung. Yes, congratulations, you got better from hypothermia. We still need to finish this. What's the white stuff? That is some brine. We had some brine out here. And it's actually going to convert it to salt water because of the heat from the geyser. Uh, okay, looks like we've got some slime. Okay, there we go. There's our little liquid blob. Right, so this is working. Uh, the slime lung germs have died pretty much immediately because it's too cold out here. So I guess this worked? This room is filling up with gas. So I guess it's okay. We'll need to let all this liquid out. But now we can dig all the now we can dig all of this up without issues. So let's move. Okay, that's not that doesn't need to be yellow. Though. That can go here. I'm gonna leave the liquid lock in for now. Because this is going to be a pure oxygen room, maybe. Oh, we could, I don't know, probably not. We'll just let dupes breathe in here. Maybe we'll put a carbon skimmer in here as well. And then we'll seal that in. Dig this. So yeah, we'll see if anyone gets slime lung. I don't think anyone will. I mean, at the moment, the germs are dying off because of the temperature. Eventually, that will change. That's why I want the shine bugs in here. And this room is now overpressurizing because... Why aren't these running? Because this is full of hydrogen. Oh, because we didn't vacuum it. It's not a very good plan. This was really not a very good plan. It must be said. I think we may be able to salvage this. So what we can do is we can deconstruct the mesh tiles and then diagonally fill in these tiles and then rebuild them. And that should delete the hydrogen without getting people contaminated. I've got to admit, I'm quite enjoying not reloading things. <laughs> Because it gets me thinking of solutions to stuff I don't normally think about. Right, what have we got? Incredibles. Uh, have some coal. Uh, we do need a mess table for our friend as well, because they currently don't have anywhere to eat. You can just eat in the kitchen for now. Yeah, I want to get the slime. I want to get this uh, shine bug ranch finished today. Maybe that's something we'll do this run. Maybe we'll just try and do the shine bug. Um, bra like, keep getting all the shine bug variants. I think it'll be quite funny. Your own saw blade bounced off a wall and killed you instead of an enemy. Yeah, saw blades tend to kill you very effectively. Like, the, the disc projectiles can do that. You have to be careful. Because they do they do so much damage. And then don't even get me started on the Giga Sword Blade and the Omega Sword Blade. They're all back. Good. So, it'll be interesting to see how many tiles this actually counts as. 
Well, I mean, at the moment you're just copying everything it's set. There you go, good job. You have been freed. Uh, you will need a ladder over here. That's fine, you can keep breathing us oxygen for now. Yeah, dig this out. There you go. Much sand. Yeah, so dig those mesh tiles and then uh what that means is we can we can regular tile these because they'll be reachable and then we can swap over and do the other ones yeah and that deletes the height that deletes the hydrogen there's a few other gases in here as well but they're on the bottom so that's okay um yeah so now build those again Then what I'll do is I'll put the ranch down here and we'll turn this into a lamp when this is all done. Uh, so the brine is still liquid, that's good. So now I just need to deconstruct these two. Get rid of the rest of the hydrogen. And then what I'll do as well is I'll deconstruct this and we'll let the liquid out here so that will reduce the liquid level in here. And this liquid shouldn't ever go away, so we shouldn't contaminate the room that way. Yeah, build those. We're still trapped. Someone will come and build this ladder, eventually. I imagine. Oh, no. We need to build this ladder here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now the hydrogen has been deleted. Which means we can... Place these with airflow tiles. No. Airflow tiles. Rescue Pablo. You can do it, I believe in you. You don't even have hypothermia. How impressive. And then we'll let the liquid out here just to let it go. And then we can dig all of this up. Make more space for the liquid. So now I need to replace these. There's no germs coming out there because it's okay so the so here's the thing so the polluted oxygen in the deodorizer has germs but the germs are all dying off because the deodorizer itself is cold so in this case the germs are dying before the um before the gas comes out the oxygen comes out the other end uh, but if it was hot it wouldn't and that's why i'm putting the shine bugs in here because radiation will kill the germs very effectively
now everyone's having lunch again. Great. Uh, attack this guy. And then we'll just auto wrangle all the shine bugs and bring them in here, and eventually we'll have a manageable population in here. Some interesting liquid shenanigans going on here. You know what? I think it makes sense to put Ashcan here. And then uh, Nicola can come up here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, last three suits go to Steve, Stinky, and Travalo. There you go. Now everyone is in the blue suits. Yeah, so finish digging this. all the liquid out down here and then we need to dig these and replace these with airflow tiles and then I'll need to seal this with a door so perhaps like this Okay, so now the oxygen is slime lung in it because it's, it's not it's too warm in here. So now the slime lung germs are coming out. They're dying quite quickly, but they are coming out. So we need to get the shine bugs in here pretty quick. So let's get the to drop off and put it in here. This dig needs to be priority nine. Uh, we then need to replace these with airflow tiles. No one's got slime lung, that's fine. I think I'm honestly just going to tell you to sweep this. I don't think it's going to drain quick enough. What I want is for the salt water to end up in here. Yeah. So now there's a little bit of brine left. Right, so now that's all brining. I think we stop now. level will continue to drop. Yeah, keep lowering the level very gradually. Dig more of this out. There we go, that's what we want. Uh, so sweep this. Uh, then I put this mesh tile here. So the deodorizers are working and sucking the um, the pollutant oxygen through the liquid because of how the deodorizer work. Well, that's nice. Yeah, 
yeah, and now we can just finish this off. So now you can get out of here. And then this will actually be a complete room. Then what we need to do is we need to have eight shine bugs in here. Shine bugs, drop them off. And then auto wrangle surplus, max zero critters. We're still filling these up with hatches, so yeah, let's just just empty these of all critters for now. And then we'll remove these. So we can get these shine bugs out of here at last. And put them in here. And then what I'll need to do is I'll need to put a food station in here. Uh, a critter feeder. I'll fill this manually for now and then we'll sort it out later. And then grooming station goes here. And then what we'll do is we'll put the lamp up here. So that... Uh, so that the shine bugs get attracted to the area where the gas is coming out. Where they're not being grunged. Then... Just speed three it while this break is happening. There's a couple of waste gases out here, but I'm not that concerned. None of this should freeze. I wonder if gases are eventually going to get deleted by this. I'm kind of hoping so. Okay, so the slime lung is now pretty high. So yeah, you need to do this immediately. Well, I mean, you need to just actually sleep and then do it. And then I think we just need to move all these eggs out of here manually once it's all done. Yeah, bag up the shine bugs. <laughs> they do not look very happy, do they, when they're bagged up? The textures remind me of Dig or Die. I haven't heard of that one. Uh, so yeah, you guys are going to get exposed to a little bit of slime lung just while we're doing this. Hopefully not too bad. So, lamp goes here. This can be anything. Just stick this here. Yeah, you need to start bringing the shine bugs here. Because we need the radiation to deal with the germs. So you'll see there's germs in this area again now. And once you've actually got the shine bug, Shine bug will start removing the germs, and they might even remove the germs from here. See, they are actually killing the germs in here as well because they're looking out, they're occasionally looking out onto the uh, the geyser. So, if I just bring up the red, the rad view, even a small amount of rads will kill the germs. So, exposed to 19 rads, 100% died per cycle. Um, if I look at like yeah. Exposed to two rads, 93.4% dead per cycle. So really, you only even need one shine bug in here. But I'm going to have a few because I want to try and climb the... Ch I'm, I want to try and climb the ladder. I haven't done that on the save. So now these germs should start going away. And we've got to put the lamp here just so that the shine bug comes over here towards the light. They tend to do. Yeah, it looks like we've dropped a load of shine bugs in here. That's good. So they should get rid of most of the radiation before it begins. And then if we actually look at the room... This does not count as a stable because it's too big. I can just put a door here. Maybe. Uh...
So that's a pretty good amount of shine bugs. I'm hoping that's enough to just kill the germs before they get out. I was kind of hoping that the lights would um, help with that. Right, what do shine bugs eat? I'm just going to feed these guys bristle berries for now. We have loads of bristle berries. So. So that'll make it 95. We just need to get one extra tile from somewhere. I can remove this mesh tile and have the lamp down here. You don't really need the mesh tiles here. You could just I I just don't want these to be flooded. So that'll give us our final tile, and then we can just move the lamp down here. The the shine bugs do not seem to be paying attention to it. Okay, now they're cramped. Yeah, because we need to remove this one tile. See, that guy, that little guy came over to investigate. So now this grooming station is working. So we, we've got shine bugs in here. Am I just going to murder all these shine bugs? That doesn't seem very cash money. No, I'm just going to stick them in here instead. I'm going to stick them in the radiation room. Um, we'll see if they last. Yeah, that should work. There's a pretty high amount of rads in here. When I last did this, I had a I had a dupe that would eat rads in here. It's probably a pretty good idea. Yes, now this room is 96 tiles. I think we need six shine bugs in here. I think we get overcrowded with six. Not Let's murder two of them. Yeah, now you guys are fine. Now you're tame, you're groomed, and you're happy. Oh, I just realized something. I don't even need to slip here. I'm going to revert that change. This liquid won't spill out of here anyways. Now you guys can actually eat. What a relief. So what I'll do is I'll queue up a research as well that involves rads. So we get this working temporarily. And then we'll uh, set up a drop off in there as well. I'm just going to speed three it past... Uh, Let's be through it past their break. Yeah, this is now erupting again. And the germs are... There is now clean oxygen up here. Bollocks. How bad? Uh, let's take some more brain. Ooh, you're a really good machinist, though. I'm gonna start taking dupes again. We're gonna take max. Uh, next up will be a, a proper uh, some more great halls, I think. Maybe eight. We can have some more beds here. And for now, you can just 
You just you just vibe in here. Go for it. Uh, skills. Let's see. Max, you can have operating. Good stability for you. You can get building. You can get towards exosuits. Nicola will uh, prioritize you in decorating when you've actually got the master. Oh, you do have masterworks, don't you? No. No, you had the interior decorator. So we'll skill you up when you've got master. We'll prioritize you when you've got masterworks. And then you can just do operating. Okay. I've ended up with a load of cum docks in here. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, put an airflow tile here and here. Or just, just put one in the middle for now. In fact, we can actually just make this a regular ladder again. I think what I'll do is I'll move the um, other temporary bedrooms down here. Yeah, move the other temporary bedrooms down here. We don't need that CO2 lock there anymore. Because we're not filling these with anything anymore. And we will add a load of beds. That pipe can go back here. This could be Ashcan's bed for now. Also, I never analyze this, but I don't really care, so it's fine. I'm not actually erupting either. Put that back. Put the put the lamp back. Ashcan can go there. And then first thing next stream we'll make another make another great hall down here. I'll do another one here as well. I don't know why this is insulated. Oh that that's because it used to be a tank. We we'll remove this now. There you go. And then make that a door. Move ladder. Let's remove another segment of pipe. No. Let's make that Ashcan's bed now. And then what that means is I can remove these, I can put in another few temporary Great Halls. Or maybe they won't even be temporary, maybe we are just going to stick the Great Halls here, because if the bedrooms are here, maybe that makes sense. I think eventually we're going to move over here. Oh look, another volcano. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I guess we'll do this. Just so that we're all getting the morale bonus. Um, but I do still need to come in here and remove this. So let us do... Let's do these tiles. I don't think this lets in... I don't think this lets in oxygen in the process, but I might be wrong. I think we can get this done by cycle 120. Oh, they're cramped again because they've laid an egg. Ah, this is true. I need to sweep the eggs out of here. 
Um, so let's see. Auto sweeper can go here. And another one can go up here. Just in case. And then they both reach these tiles, so we can put a bear loader here. Um, we are going to fully mechanize this because these shine bugs are going to stay here. Uh, so then the conveyor loader can take the eggs. We can just drown them. Nothing wrong with that. Um, probably just make a little drowner here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll just release them into the wild for now. I think I'll do that. We'll release them into the wild. Free, free rads and decor for everyone. And then what I can actually do as well is I can I can mechani I can mechanize dropping the bristle bearing here. But I think we're also going to be playing around with what these guys eat, so maybe that will change. You need to die. We got some sage hatchets. We aren't drowning any hatches yet because these are still pulling. Uh, we need to take the rest of the. We need to take the rest of the shine bugs and put them in here. So let's try this again. Tile this. We do not want any oxygen in here. So then move this over here. The also sweeper is helping with the building. It's a genius. It doesn't look like any of the brine is being released because this is quite a large mass of brine. Okay, that actually seemed to work fully. It looks like some of the brine got released on that one. Maybe it got deleted. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. So now if you build this, what happens? Yeah, that stays deleted oxygen. Okay. Um, so then we build these. Yeah, these are working again. It's nice. I can remove this, and what I'm going to do is we can put in a skimmer here to get rid of any carbon dioxide that ends up in. We'll just let the dupes run around here without the uh, suits on. So, yeah, carbon skimmer goes here. And then what I need to do is I need to hook that up to something. It's mildly annoying. I guess I do want the carbon skimmer in here, so I guess we're just gonna have to lump it. 
So that's going to be the regular water pipe. It's going to be horrendous. Oh, we can't even access this bit. I want to make sure this is all being recycled, so I'm just going to connect this to... Uh, you know what? We could actually just connect it to a sieve. We've got sieves elsewhere. We're in, we're in a rare situation where we have many, many water sieves. So let's just hook this up to one of these. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually just make this the overflow for this. Go over here. And then this can come this way. And get loaded into here. Yeah, that's much better. Good. Good. People are getting pop eardrums going in here. Great. Good job. Right, now build those, and then this room should be clear again. You guys are now going for break. The oxygen pressure is really building up, which we expected because we're generating so much oxygen. There should be a there should be a color on this where it says pop deer drums threshold. That would make this really useful. Uh, but what this does mean is we can start digging down here and just filling this with oxygen. Because even below the carbon skimmer level now, we just overpressurize with, with oxygen. That's good. Okay, maybe one more cycle. I just want to get this all done. And then what I'll do is I'll take this pipe. I'll run it this way. Pick this out here. You would love to see me play Ark Survival Evolved. What is that game? That's, is that the game with the dinosaurs? Am I thinking of Horizon Zero Dawn? Or is that another dinosaur game? Okay, so we definitely dropped some brine in there. It's okay though. What about here? Yeah, okay, that's fine. So now if we just let this out, there's still enough brine in here for this to be fine. I do need to sweep this up again because I don't want people getting soggy feet in here. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, if you think I'll be interested in it, post, post a thing in the Discord and I will have a look at it. I can't guarantee that I'm going to play it anytime soon, but I will consider it. Yeah, pretty close to getting us. Oh, hold on. Oh no, we just need to put the tiles in. This carbon skimmer doesn't count as industrial machinery, does it? It does. Uh, but ranches don't care about industrial machinery, so we're fine. And then this needs to be set to all things, except... Yeah, this needs to be set to all things. We'll get all this random crap out of here. There we go. Right. So I think this room is pretty much done now. 
So what should happen is the hydrogen should get vented out into here. Um, these vents are way over pressure. <laughs> what channel should you put the link in? There is a link for other games, I believe. So that is somewhere where you can post about other games. But yeah, this should grab the hydrogen pretty quickly. And then once this starts running, because this will fill up somewhat soon, I hope. No, it's just decided to stop going up. Uh, I think I need a... I need a bridge. This. Yeah, build those bridges. And then that should ensure that it flows that way. Yeah, just keep moving all this stuff out of here. Thank you for that. I will have a look at some point. Uh, have you built the bridges? You have. So liquid is being, is going to get sieved again. And that means we are going to start getting water again. And any water over the threshold should go into the carbon skimmer, which should be enough to gradually fill it up. And I don't think this will need to run all the time either. But yeah, we'll get a little bit of excess water out of this. Are you going to come back and sweep this up? There you go. Good job. Right. I think this room is fully functional now. Uh, looks like... Yeah, looks like we've sucked up all the polluted oxygen. This is just chlorine and carbon dioxide in there now. I would like to get rid of these gases, but I don't really care. Um, they may get deleted at some point. We'll see. And now it's dormant. Great. Good good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay. Um, this will work for next time. Oh, you know what this actually means? If this is dormant and there's no germs in here, I could probably just come in here and vacuum it. I don't want... Hmm... Uh. I think we just leave it like it is. It, it should work. It should work. We'll pump all the gases out of here. Uh, eventually it'll just be oxygen in here. This carbon skimmer is working. Yeah, it's going to start backing up with water. Because, yeah, all the carbon dioxide is gone. All this hydrogen should get pumped out of here pretty quickly. Yeah, so I think this room is going to be a success. I think we're going to be able to ranch shine bugs in here just fine. We'll end up with a load of eggs. Although, at the moment, these guys will cramp and elbowly. Uh, let's just stop dumping stuff in here. Let's grab the eggs first. There you go. And then start grabbing everything else again. And then, have we been grabbing the shine bugs? We have! We've got more shine bugs in here. Look at this. Uh, the only thing is, they're not producing any, um, <laughs> they're not producing any rad bolts because we have no rad bolt generation here. But, um, they are here at least. Now we just got babies in here. This is actually full now. Um, so I think we just move these eggs out of here. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's just move them into here. And then we'll murder the babies. 
you know, as you do. More eggs. Quite a few. Yeah, and then just murder all the babies and this will fill up again. Max is just like, why am I here? Oh, the shine bug is going to get hit by rad bolts. Oh no, look at this. <laughs> I'm going to hit the shine bugs with rad bolts. No. It's all right. <laughs> I can hear them just getting shot every now and then. That's great. Yeah, big oof. Um, right. You are an adult shine bug. You can get out of here. Same. Yeah. I think we're actually out of shine bugs now. We have 50 hatched eggs in here. The hatch multiplier is indeed working. Our coal stocks should be way up. Uh, let's take another pit. Pip has escaped. Uh, let's actually close this door. Put the pips in here too. Oh no, we don't want the pips to get murdered. All blues of water in here. Set this to nine. I want you to actually handle these bugs as well. And then I think the thumbnail will just be someone in this room. So who's going to come do this? Val, though. That sounds fine. And Poke Shell's just like. I want to be like you, shine bugs. There you go. We'll get Liam. Liam can come in and handle this. <laughs> I like it. A somewhat silly goal for today, but at least we've got this. Guys are sorted out. Yeah, Liam. Very nice and bright room. I like it. Yeah, radiation is quite high. I think it will be okay. I guess we'll see. Maybe long term we'll think about getting a radiation... Uh, a radiation eater to come and handle these guys. But yeah, pretty, pretty good environment. How's everything going over here? Everything else seems to be ticking over just fine. We have about 53, 54 tons of algae left. It's okay. Rabaldo, you can go for exosuits. Nicola, we're going to get you to masterworks first, and you can go to exosuits. Same with you. Uh, you know what? Let's do something to end the stream. Let us actually go and excavate this thing. So we found a fossil specimen. Uh, we have the ancient, the ancient specimen, which is over here, which is the main fossil site. And there's three other fossils that we need to go have a look at. So now we're going to get someone to go do this. It's unreachable. And it requires 
It requires researching or digging or decorating. Uh, so let's let Pablo through here. Does that solve that issue? Yeah. So Pablo can go in here and do this. Find a dinosaur bone. Yeah, we'll see what we do. Pablo is not going to be very fast in the soup. But I'm sure they'll manage. Uh, it looks like their schedule is coming up. So, Pablo, you're going to go on a different schedule. Though. You're going to go on this schedule. And I'm definitely going to f remember to uh, take you off that schedule. Yeah, you're going to exploit this. I love the little puffed ammo suits. They're amazing. Yeah, you should be able to dig this up pretty quickly. So these little fossil fragments here as well, you can excavate these for a large amount of fossil. But I kind of want to leave it alone for now. Yeah, maybe we'll find a T-Rex bone. How does that sound? You got creativity. Nice. Alright, what do you got? We removed the thing. And it's a frozen fossil. 25 decor in a 5 tile radius. That's pretty neat. Seems this creature's DNA was once used as a kind of genetic storage unit. Here we go. Uh, so let's pause this. I discovered a fossilized crystal paradise buried deep in the colony, at least part of one, but it does not resemble any species we've become in this asteroid. Where did it come from? How did it get here? And what other questions might these bones hold the answer to? There's only one way to find out. Blah, blah, blah. Restricting our organism design to target survival and off-planet polar climate has narrowed our focus significantly, allowing development in this project to rapidly outpace the others. Successfully optimized for adaptive features such as formation of protective adipose tissue at 40% of the organism's additional, original mass. Chonka. Uh, Dr. Boubert was concerned about the consequences of muscle mass, but results confirm that reductions fall within an acceptable range. Next step is to adapt the organism's diet. It will be inadvisable to populate a new colony with carnivorous creatures. When I'm alone in this lab, I often find myself gravitating towards the enclosure to listen to the creature's melodic vocalizations. Sometimes the pitch changes slightly as I approach. I'm not certain what it means. <laughs> Some of the other departments have taken to calling our work here Project Meat Popsicle. <laughs> It is a crass misnomer. The species is not designed to be a food source. It must survive the series climate long enough to establish a stable population that will enable the subsequent settlement party to access the essential research data stored in its DNA by Dr. Winslow's revolutionary genome editing technique. Got the bites of scientific documentation wandering freely around a new colony, the ultimate self-sustaining archive, providing stable data storage that requires zero technological maintenance. A new meaning to the term living document. Very interesting. Today is the day my sonorous critter and her handful of progeny are ready to be transported to the new helm. Um, they're scheduled to arrive three months in the past uh, to ensure they'll be well established before the settlement party's arrival next week. Time travel. Dr. Techna invited me to assist with the teleportation. I was relieved to be too busy to accept. I've heard rumors about previous shipments going uh, awry. These stories are unsubstantiated and yet... The urgency of our mission sometimes necessitates non-ideal compromises. The lab is very quiet now. Well, there we go. Story time. And with that, I think we're going to wrap up the stream. There are some more fossils. There's one down here with a spore kid in it, which we'll go deal with at some point. These germs do hang around at these cold temperatures, so not really sure what to do about this. I'll have a think. Probably radiation again. Maybe we'll just bring a load of shine bugs down here. Uh, and then we have the the, the large, the, the uh, baked one down here. And uh, this is just really, really hot. But we may be alright with that one. We'll probably do this one next. Um, this is amazing! Oh my god, more biddies. More biddies, thank you very much, Mr. T-Rex. I do appreciate it, the 15 bits. Yeah, whiskers do appreciate it very much. Right, let's actually wrap it up because I've got to go to bed. Uh, so, we'll wrap it up. Deep Rock Galactic. That's another game I want to play. Uh, but I think I'm going to play that one off stream. 
I've got I've got some mates in real life to play it. Right. Let us on oh, no. over. Thanks very much for watching. It's been really nice. Um we are just kind of vibing on this run at the moment. We did set up a load of extra oxygen production with the terrariums. Um with the goal of just oxygenating most of the map. I am gonna start digging down further towards the oil biome next stream on Thursday. But we're just gonna we're just gonna dig down there and let people do it without the atmosphere suits. We'll just let all the hydrogen rush up some other way, and I don't think the chlorine will be a problem. That should stay a liquid, hopefully. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, if you want to see when I'm on next, you can give me a follow on Twitch, and you'll get a notification when I go live. I am going to shift my streaming pattern. I'm going to try and start and finish earlier. I'm going to try and start at 7 and finish at 10. And hopefully get there, because I need more sleep in real life. <laughs> Um, I've been getting up too early to handle getting to bed at 11 after everything else is said and done. Because by the time I get to bed at 11, it means I'm not getting to sleep until 11.30, and then my partner needs to go up at 6.30, so then I'm starting to get 7 hours of sleep, and then if I get interrupted, then it then it knocks me back. So I need to have a think about that. But uh, we'll get it sorted. But we're just going to shift it a bit earlier in the day, and I'm going to get a bit more proactive at cooking to make sure I can start after dinner. Um, but yes, if you missed the stream, mods are on YouTube, as always. Um, there are meme videos there, there's discussion videos as well. So feel free to go and have a look there and subscribe if you want to see more VOD content on there. Um, we're actually very close to 500 subscribers. We've got about 385 at the moment, I think. Um, so pretty close to becoming partner. Um, I'm definitely going to do something special when we hit that threshold, but I don't know when that'll be. That'll probably be quite a while. I need to make more actual uh, tier list videos again. <laughs> Those do very well. I am going to make a critter tier list at some point, but I still haven't played with some of the critters, and I want to make sure that I'm actually playing with them before I rank them on that list. Um, there is also the Discord page where we hang out and share memes and builds for different games, usually optional included. Um, and game recommendations apparently. I will go have a look at go have a look at uh Arc Survival of All. Hello, Club Step. You've you've just joined me just at the end of the stream. Hope you're doing well. Um and uh yeah. Um I'm gonna go find someone to raid because I need to go. Who's it gonna be? Aku S tier. Probably. No, I'm not bad. Well, I think I think I'm gonna go read Neoster again. And they're playing Splunky 2. That is another game I am actually thinking of picking up and playing on stream. Um I might even float doing a uh, a collab stream with Neosa on this. Because that's quite a fun multiplayer game, and frankly, I need someone to teach me how to play. Get me up the snuff. So maybe Neosa can teach me, we'll see. Um Yes. Splunky is fun. It's more it's quite similar to Noita. Except you're like an Indiana Jones style character instead, and it's got sort of like a cute oxygen included style art style. Uh, so yeah, I'd highly recommend sticking around for that, Mr. T Rex. Yeah, we're gonna go raid Neosa. Uh, so feel free to send any fish you've got. Um, and uh, I'll see you there. Have a good one. Bye for now.